everybody. Okay, so I promised you all that I was going to update you on how I'm feeling. I'm still under the weather. I am still under the weather. Okay, and I know a lot of you are wondering. Prince, get up here on this couch, baby. Get up here. I know a lot of you are wondering right now, like, so how are you feeling? Well, let me just tell you. I have one of the worst headaches ever. My head is really hurting. Um, I, I kind of feel like I have one of the worst headaches I've ever had. And the headache is just kind of lingering, you know. It's, it's not really going away. And so the headache is making my eyes hurt, you know, kind of behind my eyes, you know. My nose is stuffed up, and I have a horrible cough. And when you cough, it hurts way down in here. Like, it, it's like a deep, deep, deep cough. Um, I didn't sleep well at all last night. I barely got any sleep. I was up all night watching infomercials <laughs> and uh, just really anticipating getting to Walgreens today to get my test. So the test that I signed up for was the rapid test. They have two types of tests. There's one test that you can take and you get the results back in two days. And of course, I didn't want to get that test. So I signed up to do the rapid test. And um, so I got the rapid test done. And surprisingly, they make you do the test yourself. What I mean by that is, so you pull up through the drive-thru, right? They give you the, the long Q-tip thing that you have to do both nostrils like five times in the same direction. And then you push it back in the little bag that it came in. They test it and they send you your results within two hours. Well, by the time we made it home, they had um, let me know what the results were. A few minutes ago, my husband gave me some medicine. I think it was the Mucinex. And then right before he handed it to me, he said, this is the nighttime. He was right in my mouth, right? <laughs> he was right in my mouth, and he said, this is the nighttime one, right? And he gave it to me. And I'm thinking, what, you want me to sleep? <laughs> you want me to go to sleep? Do I need to go to sleep? Am I driving you nuts? Right? Because it was only like 4 o'clock. <laughs> Here, here, baby, take your medicine. This is the nighttime one. <laughs> and by the time I opened my mouth and took the medicine, I realized he said this is the nighttime one. <laughs> Usually don't take it at night. I must be driving him nuts. Oh, I love him so much. He's been working so hard, you know, trying to keep things uh, afloat, you know, and trying to keep things sanitized and just making sure everything is together. You know, he's been such a blessing around here, and I definitely appreciate him. He's feeling much better, so praise God. Dakota is feeling much better, praise God, you know. And I'm the only one here that I still got a whole lot of mess going on. Oh, I, I just feel horrible. I, had a, I took my temperature last night. And uh, I didn't have a high fever. I just had a very low fever. So I wanted to step in real quick and say thank you to everyone that has been giving me get well wishes and all of the emails, all of the messages saying how much you love me and you guys are praying for me. Thank you, thank you, thank you all so much. And I love you guys from the bottom of my heart. I greatly appreciate you all being patient while I'm uh, down, you know, not feeling the greatest. So my husband ordered a pizza for lunch today, and then he said he'll just order some Chinese for dinner today. So both of those things is covered. Uh, Dakota was very, very, very excited when he came home today. He was supposed to wear his school colors today, and they were going to have a pep rally. Well, he had no clue what a pep rally was, right? And so my husband started telling him what to expect, you know, and he asked me a couple of questions. 
you know, and then uh, when he came home, we asked him, how was it? He said, oh, it was nice, you know. Um, he talked about uh, the band playing, the cheerleaders dancing, and, you know, the football team and everybody. He, he just said it was so much fun. And so we told him that's what you do on Friday before the game to get pumped up, you know, for the game. But he really, really, really enjoyed that. So I was so grateful that he had such a great time today at school. I had to take the microphone off, so I hope that you guys can hear me. You may hear some background noise. Um, my husband has some new fish, so that's what they're doing right now. They're getting the fish tanks together, adding the Hello. new fish and things like that. Uh, Hello. So I wanted to let you guys know what my test results came back as. This right here is my test results. Test results came back negative. So I'm so grateful it says uh, on September 30th, you tested negative. You did not have C at the time of testing. Okay, so I'm so grateful. It just must be the flu. And I tell you one thing, it is whooping my butt. Like, you ever had a good butt whooping? That's what I feel like right now. I feel like I had a good butt whooping. So now, I don't know if I just mentioned that uh, I had to take the microphones off so I could uh, charge the camera. So hopefully it doesn't sound too muffled. But like I said, once again, thank you all for your prayers all of the emails and just all the love that you guys have just uh, thrown at me. Thank you all so much. So when it comes to tomorrow, I know you all are wondering, okay, Gina, so what are we doing tomorrow? Um, as of right now, I don't feel like I could do a live tomorrow. So I'm not planning on it right now. And like I said earlier, uh, in the last video, I would hate to have you guys go out and buy something and then I wake up on Saturday and I can't, I don't have the energy to do what I promised. So if by chance, you know, I happen to feel a little better, then you'll see me. But if not, just know that I'm laying in the bed getting some good rest and my husband is taking great care of me. So now let me tell you this, and this is really weird. So... Yesterday, um, I made some baked chicken, some stuffing, and I made some corn. And I went and laid down. Well, I figured I, it should be about time to go check on my corn and go turn it off. I get up and my corn is burnt. I don't burn things, you know. I'm Gina Young. I don't burn things, right? <laughs> it's okay to laugh. But I went and laid down and just, you know... I was just really too sick to watch the food. But the corn was charred and it was burning. And I realized, why didn't I smell it? Right? Did not smell the, the corn burning at all. So I went in the basement. I told my husband, I said, you know what? This is yesterday. I said, I can't smell nothing. But before I went downstairs, I cut an onion. I said, this right here is going to tell me whether... I can smell or not. I sliced the onion in half. I sliced that baby in half. I smelled it and I couldn't smell anything. I tasted the onion. I could taste it a little bit. Didn't burn my eyes and I couldn't smell it. So I go downstairs and I tell him, I said, I can't smell a doggone thing. I sprayed air freshener when I put my lotion and deodorant on. I was looking for that smell. I couldn't smell it. And the thing is, so can this happen with the regular flu? You know, where you, you lose your smell? Because we know it happens with this, with the big C. But does that happen with the regular flu? I have no smell. So go figure, I, I can't figure it out. But uh, I don't know. And before we went to Walgreens, I could see that my husband was cleaning the car out and he was spraying some good smelling stuff in the car. And I wanted to see, check again to see if I smelt, you know, what he was spraying. 
I couldn't smell it. So maybe you guys know. If you know, let me know in the comments section. We purchased a whole lot of Lysol, the Lysol the Clorox wipes, and also the Lysol spray. So we have all those things that we can start sanitizing this weekend. And then also probably like washing the bed sheets and the pillows and stuff like that since they're beginning to feel well. Uh, so we'll just see. We're trying to do all we can so we can keep the house nice and sanitized and clean, you know, so we don't keep transferring, you know, illnesses back and forth to each other. I just wanted to chime in, let you guys know how I'm feeling, let you know that my test, my rapid test that I got done at Walgreens says negative. So we'll just let this process, you know, do what it needs to do. And Jeannie Young will be back. Gina Young will be back, and when I come back, I'm, I'm going to be in full effect, okay? We're going to have a good time. We're going to get back doing lives once again, okay? So, I love you guys from the bottom of my heart, and as always, God bless you all. Thank you all for watching. Good night.